hey beautiful virgo i hope you're doing oh so well if you are new to the channel hello my name is leela i reside in london uk um and if you'd like to in the comment section below let me know where you reside i'm always intrigued to know my viewers are from i'm also a virgo this is going to be a love reading if you're not here for love then you are more than welcome to go and check out my other content i make sure that i do a non-love reading even though love came up in today's reading um every time i i post some content okay please remember to give the video a thumbs up if you find that it resonates with you in any way it really does help us readers okay if you'd like to tell me a bit about yourself i do i do read all the comments uh i find it hard to reply these days to everybody but um i just want you to know that i do see all your comments and i appreciate you guys so much all right yes us beautiful virgos a love reading please guide us so the usual questions that i ask well if you're new to the channel i feel like not giving away so the first question that i ask shouts out to my returning subs as well freaking adored the loyalty look at the bottom of the deck can't make it up baby ten of cups baby <laughs> who is it that is currently thinking about virgo now i ask about three or four questions you may find that i'm talking about multiple people virgo mm -hmm. or i might be talking about one person okay this is also timeless me uh, messages this could be a past person a present person hey who knows i could be talking about a future person right that's uh, just the way the cookie crumbles. So, who is it that is currently thinking about Virgo? And, and honestly, oh, two of pentacles in reverse. Honestly, I feel like, um, I forgot what I was going to say then. Remember, Mercury is in retrograde, so communication. You may find that people from the past come back into your life like, no, don't do it. Don't come back around Mercury retrograde. How dare you? Two of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. So there's there's a there's an outer balance here. There's some sort of eight of wands wanting to come out there. The person that's thinking about you, something's out of balance, or maybe something doesn't feel quite right. Four of swords in reverse. This person's unable to rest. They want to contact you. That ten of cups is still on the bottom of the deck. Ain't no one stopping Virgo's happiness. Okay. Okay, cross watchers. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But um, yeah. So. There's some distance between you and the person that is currently thinking about you, okay? Maybe they're thinking, oh, should I contact Virgo? Should I visit Virgo? You know, they're kind of all over the place, especially with that four. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could also be a fire sign. It could also be an earth sign, okay? I don't want to shout out too many zodiac signs, but um, you should know, right? Um, there's, there's some sort of disharmony. They're finding it very hard to maybe juggle things in their life right now okay for some reason they, they definitely seem very unsettled they're not taking care of themselves at this time okay so if you hear something in the grapevine mm -hmm, you probably heard it here first like yeah gifted told me that this person was just not right you know they weren't taking care of themselves maybe drinking too much only you would know okay so let's move on forget about that uh to who's it that currently wants you hopefully it's not the same energy who's it that currently wants virgos who's it that currently wants virgos ace of wands so as always you know the theme seems to be something new here okay not only something new with, with the ace card there something exciting and passionate Okay, so whoever it is that's wanting you, for some of you, it could be a fire sign. Okay, let's have a quick look at this image. I think we have cherries here. I think the fruit we have here is cherries, you know. Ooh wee. It's exciting, it's adventurous, it's alive, you know. Whatever is whatever energy this is, the person that wants you. And it's new. Who is it that wants Virgo? Tell me more with this ace of wands. Who is it? that currently wants virgo seven of swords see there's a lot of analyzing here there's a lot of strategic there's a lot of i think a lot of thought for me um i'm not getting player vibe you know you guys i already told you i don't like the seven of swords in a sense um of you know it can be someone that is deceitful or betrayal and stuff like that uh, knight of swords okay this is somebody that um definitely wants to 
save the day. They're very strategic with how they talk to you, I feel, or say things towards you, okay? I feel like maybe this person, I feel, has been betrayed as well as you. The Seven of Swords, like if you look at this image, it's very strategic. There's a lady there waiting. I think she's got her hands crossed, like, where have you been? Hmm? And uh, he's not empty-handed. He has, he comes bearing gifts, right? So I feel like um, there is a very strategic type of energy here where this person is very mindful. There's a lot of ideas, a lot of thinking about what they should do, how they should do it. It's passionate, it's new. Um, and, and that is what I'm getting here. I'm not going to sway across away from that, you know. And yeah, some of you could be dealing with a uh, dealing with a player but look at this queen of pentacles this is some this this whether this person it's like confirmation okay this is confirmation from spirit that they want you and i just saw 555 on the dial so this is change this is some i feel like this person maybe they've changed or they're wanting to do things differently maybe this is your energy and you've changed and you want to do things differently okay maybe you're very aware of who i'm talking about right now but um Queen of Pentacles was definitely confirmation like, yep, yeah, it's Virgo that I want. It's Virgo that you're talking about. Yep, yeah, you're right. <laughs> that type of energy. Okay, so let's move on to, I love it, the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. There's a determination here. We're still on the energy of the person that's wanting you. They've got, you know, Spirit Squad said they've got more to say. This is somebody that is determined in life in general you know, to do better, to, you know, so ambitious energy. Maybe they find you to be very ambitious. So now can we move on to who is it that's currently got feelings for Virgo at this time? Currently, who's got feelings towards Virgo at this time? Six of Wands. You know what? With it coming out reversed out, I almost like want to say for some of you, yeah, for some of you, not for all of you, that uh, you're not giving this person no more attention. That's what I'm getting, Virgo. Like, you, there's a person here that has feelings for you or whatever, uh, loves you, however you want to take it, but you you stopped putting them on a pedestal type of thing, you know? That's what I get. Hmm. Tell me more about... Oh, tell me more... Two of Cups, wow. Six of Wands, Two of Cups, the person that has feelings towards you. I mean, this is a highly intelligent person. I've already picked up on this in previous readings. Ten of Cups still there on the bottom of the deck. Like, some of you are dealing with highly in intellectual individuals, okay? Um, and, and it doesn't have to be. It can be just the mind frame, right? The mind can be such a... A, a huge turn on for some people right for some virgos so six of wands i feel like um one of you you influence each other the person that's currently got feelings towards you maybe they see you as an influencer they see you as popular um they see you as um someone as the prize it's almost like the person that has feelings for you like you're the prize i don't know why i'm hearing that two of cups there's um there's a connection here there is definitely a, a connection here conversations soulmates for some of you you know and and i get this highly intellectual mindset for whoever it is that's currently got feelings for you all right i think it's a very accomplished type of energy what is coming towards virgo in love wow so i see the world card i see the death card i see the emperor and what is this the Seven of Pentacles, wow. This is powerful. So the World Card talks about enlightenment. You know, it, it means coming full circle here. The World Card signifies Capricorn energy. So something with regards to your love life could, there could be a big um, event, when I, or there, there could be a, a shift or something could, whether it's good, bad, something around towards the end of this year, the beginning of next year, okay, the death card, transition and change, two major arcana there, three with the emperor, okay, 
So um, what I see here is an alpha male. Uh, it could be your energy as well. I feel like um, this is taking action. This is big changes that is going on with regards to your love life right now. Big, big changes. And um, I feel like a lot of you are pulling in the work. And you're investing. You're taking your time. You are waiting to see your hard work pay off. That type of energy. And it could be somebody else. That It could be your person that is feeling like that. You know, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Scorpio an Aries, a Capricorn. But um, I feel like a key word here is sacrifices, changes that maybe you need to make or your person or that is just happening anyway naturally. Naturally, you're making the changes and the sacrifices and you're taking control of your love life for the better, for the positive. And I see this um, this attentive energy, you know, that, you know, building uh, something here, taking time to build something beautiful. All right. So without further ado, I love you guys. Be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you. And I'll catch you on the rebound. Take care, folks.